I know so many people, mm -hmm. the majority of people who have that feeling before they get in the relationship with the wrong person. Can we can we talk about this? The because I see this a lot of times where a guy will get cheated on and then mm -hmm. immediately say his girlfriend has borderline personality disorder. And it's like can I you see talk the same thing though with with women. Any any girl I talk to that has broken up with her boyfriend, they she they will tell me he's a narcissist, and I'm like, oh my god. Like there's just such a misunderstanding of what that is, you know, more often than not, it's not the case. Yeah. And people don't want to hear that because they'll come to me because I specialize in this and then they don't really want to hear what I have to say because sometimes it's like, well, he just wasn't that into you. He wasn't serious about you. It's not a bad guy, not a bad guy. He just, you know, wasn't that into you. Yeah. And, and sometimes guys will lead girls on and, and the, that's a bad character trait, but it doesn't make them a narcissist. I've actually seen situations where girls and guys will be like, we're in an open relationship. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm going to see other people when mm -hmm. we're not together. And then the guy's like, okay, that's fine. And then he sees her with another dude and then later says like, you're a narcissist. Mm -hmm. like, I can't believe you did this to me. You're yes, hurting me. Yeah. He's like, you were, no, we, t I told you what was going to happen. And well, that's, that's, a, that can be gaslighting, yes. right? That's an example of gaslighting. That's a manipulation tactic that's like damned if you do damned if you don't we call those double binds yeah here's the thing guys if your girlfriend cheats on you that doesn't make her a psychopath that doesn't make her a narcissist Not at all. it just means that there's some evolutionary pressure or some for some reason either you weren't doing enough or something else somebody else was doing more or there was a nest a need for gratification or validation that you just weren't meeting i've seen women before who date a nice guy and then a guy comes around with a lamborghini and is willing to pay for all her cocaine and boop she's got a new boyfriend that shit happens and and that doesn't make her a psychopath and a lot of people don't like to deal with it. i know one guy huge self-help speaker and the guy would be on stage talking about all the other women he was having sex with to his audience with his girlfriend in the audience. And mm -hmm. I looked at his girlfriend sometimes and I'm like, I can't, she's not bisexual either. She wasn't cool with this behavior. And I would look at her and I was like, Jesus Christ, I can't believe he's saying this in front of her. Then shockingly, she cheats on him. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. And then he says she has borderline personality disorder. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, maybe she does, but you, she didn't, that's not why she broke up with you. She mm -hmm. cheated on you because you did not validate her in any way whatsoever. You're hundred percent correct. Yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. I just thought that was unfair. So you see that happen pretty often. Yeah. I, I see it all the time. And it's usually when somebody has been hurt in a relationship, that's usually when, Oh, we want to label people every time we're hurt. And it's like, we have to stop doing that. Yes. These things exist. Yes. They are problematic behavior. The majority of people don't have it. I mean, everywhere I go, it's like my ex is a narcissist. My this is a narcissist. My this is a narcissist. And it's like everybody has narcissistic traits, including myself. Yeah, you, you have know? to. You have to or else. Yeah. But that doesn't make you a narcissist. Right. Right. And so you might have moments or periods of time where you're behaving badly. Right still doesn't make you a narcissist yeah, if you had no narcissistic traits you'd never cut in traffic like uh, ever mm -hmm. even if there was a car it's five, five yeah. links behind you you would never get over mm -hmm. if you had, didn't have any narcissistic traits you'd let everyone skip you at walmart mm -hmm. in line yeah. you have to have some at some point it has to be like my hunger my anger my fatigue my desire for love has to come before other people at some point or else you, you know you're just an unhealthy person right mm -hmm. it's the point to where like not only do other people's desires not matter they don't even fucking exist right not only do they not exist their own happiness comes from serving me mm -hmm. it, it, he's like what, what why are you upset with me why are you upset with me jamie you got to hang out with me all day today I know. you should be so excited <laughs> and grateful for the fact that you got to hang out with me today it's like true. do you understand like a narcissist <laughs> believes that they care about you like i care about you and you want to know what i did for you today i let you spend time with me well That's not all narcissists do that um so some some do have that level of awareness, but some some are much more sophisticated than that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when it comes to intuition, I yes. trust a felony background record over intuition. Right. For me, I think intuition, this is just my opinion. I think intuition comes from the cardiologist who's done a thousand heart surgeries. Uh -huh. He gets to use his intuition. Uh, the, the pilot who's landed an airplane 5,000 times, his intuition I count on. In general, I think when people count on their intuition, they end up I wouldn't dating. characterize that as intuition. Well, what is that? Okay, I would say that's experience. 
But I think experience is where intuition comes from. I don't think so. Th- th- then if it doesn't come from experience, mm-hmm. then it comes from biology. I don't think so, no. Then See, where, the, the, where, the, where I, could it come from? I think from? it's a spiritual thing. Okay, so you think when you're saying intuition, you are, you are, we're going outside of the, the realms of science. Yes. Okay, got yes, it. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. And that, that's just, you know, I'm, I'm a very faith-based person, got as it. you okay. know. And so that's when I talk about intuition. And you don't have to be religious or spiritual to have an intuition, guys. Right. Okay, like you don't. It's just, it's just what I, uh, it's what I personally believe. Okay. Okay, it is. And I think it is spiritual. I think it is God. I think it is connecting with your spirit that we all have everybody has a spirit guys so you know that came from somewhere okay um you know and i'm not here to get on that topic but uh that's what i think that it is i think what you're explaining is also uh yes can you make decisions good decisions based on that absolutely but i would call that knowledge and experience not intuition i think intuition is a knowing without any of that it's like i know that this is the truth and i don't need any proof that it is But, but i know so many people Mm-hmm. the majority of people who have that feeling before they get in the relationship with the wrong person. Well, you're correct. That is their intuition. And a lot of people choose badly for uh, a lot of other things. They ignore their intuition. I think most people choose badly. Most I would of the agree time. with you. I would agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with yeah. you. I agree with you. I think most people pick the wrong person. But, but so, so if we were, and I know you don't want to do this, but if we were to make, if we were to turn this into a scientific survey, uh-huh. we're going to find that intuition is going to lead you in the wrong direction most of the time. Well, no, it, it won't. I'll tell you why. Because people aren't actually following their intuition. Okay. They're not following their intuition. Their intuition told you, uh, yeah, don't do this. Yeah. And they're like, fuck it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah. You know, so you, so, think, you think it's the ego or the necessity for validation I, that trumps I don't, the intuition? I don't necessarily think it's that. I think it's a lot of things. Uh, I wouldn't say that it's ego. I would say it's like, oh, my needs are being met. It's like, oh, like, mm, this guy doesn't really, you know, I don't really like A, B, C, and D, but he's really hot. And, you know, I don't want to be lonely. Okay, so that so that's you're being more specific about so what we're I think referring to here is like what you're saying before mm-hmm. getting back with my ex who cheated on me mm-hmm. or uh, it, or a situation where somebody who's physically or verbally abusive or a situation where you have a business partner that's stolen from you or just sort of like forgot where the money went or you're dealing with someone who has a complete lack of accountability but they're really hot or really famous or whatever and then that thing causes you to to go against what you believe is your intuition. Um, more or less. Yes. Yeah. I use that as a way to like analyze behavior to explain that to the audience. What I do with people is something very quick. And I do this with my girls all the time, my women that I work with. And I, I did this I did this with my client just the other day. And she was having some issues with a, a guy that she was dating, uh, whether or not he was the right guy. And I said, answer this question for me very quickly. Go, 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 go. And I will put the pressure on them. And, I, and very quickly she had an answer. And I said, that's your intuition. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. Yeah. I... I'm also a spiritual person, but I think that whole thing comes from evolution. And, and we, we have disagreement on this because the, the thing is, the example I like to use is the deer that is born and is walking minutes later. That mm-hmm. means there is a program for a biomechanical action mm-hmm. that has was already in there. No one had to teach it. No one had to. Te- right. I think that you're 100% correct. And I would call that divine intelligence. Okay. okay. All right. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And I would call that Charles Darwin. But yes. <laughs> Got it. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> However you get to your shooting pocket, as long as the ball comes out, a lot different ways to get to your shooting pocket.